Welcome to Learn Sibelius 6 in one hour. You can download a PDF of the Eroica score that we'll copy in this course from my website www.composerhome.com. If you want, you can also download catch-up files which allow you to jump straight into any individual lesson. And now there's an ebook for you to download to your PC, Mac or mobile device from www.amazon.com. Just search for Learn Sibelius. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to add dynamics to your score and how to copy and paste music between different parts of your score in different ways. So the first thing we'll do is we'll add dynamics to that opening chord that we've already input. The long way to do it is to click on the flute, which we've already um, put those notes in, and then go to Create, and then Text, and then Expression, because our dynamic is an expressive marking. Or you can see the shortcut there is just Command and E, or if you're on a Windows PC, Control and E. So I'll just type Command and E, and you'll see that a flashing cursor appears below that note immediately. Now, if I just type F, it'll come out with a rather wimpy looking italic F, not the sort of bold, um, engraved look that you'd expect from in music notation. So I'll delete that. The reason that you need that is because if you wanted to type something like crescendo, you would need to have just normal thin italic text. So how do I get a nice bold F? Well, if I hold down Command or Control if you're on a Windows PC and type the F at the same time, then I get the nice engraved look that you would expect. When you finish typing your words, press Escape, as usual, your best friend, to get out of being in the typing mode. Now I'm just going to click on the oboe part and type Command E or Control E if I were on a PC and then Command F to add another forte marking and I could go the whole way down the score if I wanted to adding forte to each part but of course there's a quicker way and this is one of the really cool copy features in Sibelius. So while I've got that forte mark there still highlighted I've pressed Command and C which of course would be Control and C on a Windows PC. Now I'm going to highlight all of the other instruments. So I've clicked in the first bar in the clarinet, I've scrolled down the page to the bottom and now I'm going to shift click the bass part just as we did in the mouse entry lesson at the start. Now I'm going to type paste which of course is Command and V or Control and V if you're on a Windows PC. And you can see that that forte that I copied before has now been pasted into every single part that I had highlighted. In fact, it's called multi-copy, this particular feature. Now another thing you might notice if you look at these dynamics that I've just pasted in is that there's a grey version of each dynamic next to the one that we can see. That's because Sibelius automatically copied the position from the flute part when it pasted those fortes but then realised that they would clash if it put them at that exact point. For instance, that one would bump into that note on a ledger line. So it's moved them away from the notes to avoid the clash and this is a new feature in Sibelius 6 called Magnetic Layout. It's also kept all of them in a nice line. You can see the dotted line between them showing an alignment that Sibelius has found for the dynamics between each individual part. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here and show you what will happen if I create a little bit more space between these staves now so that there's actually room for that forte underneath each chord. Oh, look there. They'll suddenly snap to underneath the notes rather than just to the left of it basically getting uh, as close as they can to Sibelius's default correct position. I'll just undo those funny changes now. But you can see that magnetic layout is a really great feature in Sibelius 6 which will save you an awful lot of time laying out your score by avoiding all of the clashes for you. OK, let's put some more dynamics in our score. I'm going to click on the viola note and again I'm going to type Command E, Control E in Windows to add a dynamic. I get the flashing cursor and this time it's piano so I'm going to hold down command while I type P and I get the nice piano marking. You can see it's also aligned to the left with the forte marking. And again I've got the piano down in the cello. Now there's another very quick copy in Sibelius. If I hold down the Alt key, and it's the same in Windows and Mac, and then click, Sibelius will copy whatever I've already got highlighted blue to wherever I click. So literally if I hold down the Alt button and click here and here and here and here, I will copy that piano wherever I click. It's quicker than doing normal copy and paste with Control V, Control C or Command C, Command V because it's just literally hold down one key 
and click where you want to copy to. Now let's copy a selection. I said in the last video to copy in the violin 2 part, I haven't actually done it yet myself. The reason for this is because you'll see that the violin 2 plays nearly exactly the same as the viola. It's got the same dotted minims and the same tremolo line and the same dynamic, but it plays at a different pitch. So again, I'm going to click on one bar and shift click on the other bar to make a multiple selection across all six of those bars. And now I'm going to hold down Alt and click into the viola, sorry, the violin two part to copy it in there. Now, of course, at the moment it's copied directly to the same B flat that's in the viola. So I'm going to type the up arrow several times to move it up to the pitch of G that it should be on. And of course, uh, the only other kind of dynamic that you'll need to know how to put in are crescendo and diminuendo lines. And these work very much like slurs work in Sibelius. We've looked at those in a couple of the different lessons now. To revise very quickly, to put in a slur or a phrase mark, you click on the note where it starts, and then you press S for slur, and you can press the space bar to space it out. Just like that. Well, Crescendo marks work in the same way. The shortcut isn't C for crescendo, because of course there's a note that's called C, it's H for hairpin, and that draws a hairpin to the next note, and then spacebar again spaces it out. You can also put in a diminuendo line with shift H. An H hairpin is what uh, crescendos and diminuendos are called, usually in jazz.